a warm welcome to our program of prayer online. I believe you're blessed and I am too. The Lord has been good and we praise him every day, every hour because of his goodness. Thank you so much for tuning in and I take this opportunity to welcome you to our session of prayer. We have been praying throughout the month that we may possess our land through prayer. But as we continue to possess the land through prayer, we also need to pray for ourselves. And today I want us to pray that we may have a steadfast spirit or a steadfast faith. Let's have an open prayer. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we praise you so much. What a wonderful God you are. The things you have done every day since we were born, as we were growing up in all our lives, Lord, are wonderful things that, Lord, we can never repay. You have been so faithful and so kind. I bless your holy name this evening as we enter into prayer. I pray that your glory may be reflected in all this prayer. My Father, I pray for the help of the Holy Spirit. I pray for a supernatural uh, glory. I pray, Father, your covering will be upon us, Lord. May the blood of Jesus surround us. May your goodness encamp around us. And I pray for the power of utterance. I pray for power over all oppositions, resistance, and hindrances. Anything that can make this prayer less of its worth, let it be subdued under our feet in Jesus' mighty name. Every argument that has risen against this program, I take it captive in Jesus' mighty name. But I declare that no weapon fashioned against this program shall prosper. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, and many will be won over to Christ through this program. Nothing will hinder it, because God, if you're for us, who can be against us? May you cover my viewer with the blood of Jesus, my directors too. And may this environment be saturated with the grace to pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray and believe. Amen. These are times that are so perilous. They are dangerous times. They are evil times. These are times that if you are a believer, you will tell that the persecution is now beginning to become physical. For us here in Kenya, it might be not be so much, but... Of late, I'm seeing a reflection of physical persecution. When people begin to persecute the church with words and with mockery and with, you know, with words of intimidation, you will just have to know that these are those days that Christ spoke about. We are going to pray for to be steadfast in our faith. What is the meaning of steadfast? It is to dutifully, to be dutifully firm and to be unwavering. Again, you can also say it's not changing. The ability not to change quickly and unexpectedly. Thirdly, it is staying the same for a long time. So that is why we are going to pray. We are going to pray that we will not waver. We are going to stand firm. We are going to be courageous. We are going to be more passionate for the work of the kingdom. We are going to be uh, zealous more zealous than even we began. We are going to pray that the first love is going to be restored upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing is going to shake us. Everything that is shakeable shall be shaken away. But we are going to pray that our faith will continue to be rooted in Christ. We are going to pray that we are not going to exchange the birthright we were given by the Lord Jesus for anything else. We are not going to be like Esau. We will not give out our birthright, whether by force or willingly. It is not going to happen. It is not possible with this physical body. But when the Spirit of God is anchored in us, He gives us such a confidence and such a power that reflects the power that is in the Lord Jesus. He was able to bear the cup. Though He desired that God may take away the cup, but after prayer, he was strengthened. Let's read the Bible in the book of First Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. You will bear witness with me that when you confess Christ, there were witnesses. I believe... Personally, I received Christ through a tele, tele, televangelism 
uh, program. And the pastor who was preaching called, uh, had an altar call, and wherever I was, I received the Lord Jesus. There were people around me. And when I began to behave like a person who is not born again, the very people who saw me confess it, they reminded me, they told, you, they told me, remember, you just received Christ. You cannot continue behaving the same way. And out of that reminder, I was able to be cautious of everything that I did. So all of us, in a way, maybe it was, it was one witness or two, there was somebody who witnessed the confession of Christ. And the Bible tells us to continue fighting the good fight. I encourage you, my brother, I don't know what you're going through. You might be feeling like it's not worth it. But look at where the Lord has taken you from. You can count your blessings one by one. Let's continue with this good faith, uh, fight of faith. Do not give up. Do not quit. There is a reward for you. There is something the Lord has kept for you. You know, there, there are people even in the scriptures who began well but didn't end well. When you read the book of Acts, there is a man called Nicholas. Acts chapter 6 verse 5. He is amongst the, breath, amongst the brethren who were chosen for a task in the first church. He was a man who could be trusted. He was full of the spirit. But when you read the book of Revelation, he develops a teaching that God hates. And God wants us through, that, uh, through the book of Revelation. He wants us of that teaching that God hates. So we can, you know, we can build a doctrine out of one revelation and we shift from the way of the Lord. It is better we pray for ourselves that even when that time comes, the Holy Spirit will help us to, to understand that we are taking the wrong path. God tells Joshua that be careful to follow my words. Do not turn to the left, not to the right. Let focus forward. I pray that we will all focus forward. We will not change the course. We will not shift our attention from the Lord Jesus and from what he has promised. We will keep on walking ahead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's read the book of James chapter 1 uh, verse 4. It continues to, uh, to, to encourage us to be firm. The Bible says, James 1, 4, And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. That we may be steadfast to the extent that it's going to make everything around us <coughs> perfect and complete. Let steadfastness take its effect in our lives. I pray that we shall be like Mount Zion, as the Bible says. We will not be moved. And Jesus said that he who hears my teaching and does them, or he who hears my words and does them, he is likened to a man who built his house upon a rock. When the wind came, he did not blow, he, he did not fall. He did not falter from the way that he was following. And I pray and desire that we are all going to be hearers and doers of the word of God. We must choose to put the word of God in us. That steadfastness may take effect and complete everything and make us lack nothing. When God sees that we are standing strong, he will provide every need according to his riches in glory. When he sees that our, we can't be moved, he will fortify us as a city. He will make us firm in the name of Jesus. Let's read verse 6. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea. That's the part I want. He who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. May God uproot every form of doubt in us. You have doubted that God can do miracles, but let me assure you one thing. Only him who has faith pleases God. And Jesus promises if we have no doubt in us, we will be even able to uproot a mountain and throw it into the sea. I know there is nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing impossible to this God that we serve. He is able to do it even in the last minute. Do not doubt God. And the Bible tells us that he who doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and being tossed by the wind. When you doubt you have no substance. When you doubt, 
you can't receive. When you doubt, you don't please God. So where do you stand? You are nowhere in the presence of the, of the Lord. It is better we, we, we believe. And verse 8 says, verse 7 and 8, For that person must, must not suppose that a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways, will receive anything from the Lord. If you are double-minded, if you, you are leaning on the Lord, at the same time you have an alternative, you will not receive anything from the Lord. That is why he warns in the book of Revelation, it is better you be hot or cold. Decide where you are standing. Don't be in the middle. There is no middle ground. It is either you are on the right or the left. That is how even when we stand at the judgment seat of God, we shall be standing. Either on the right or to the left. There is no middle ground. It is better to understand that. You will not receive anything if you are doubting. So we are going to pray that we are going to be steadfast in our faith. Nothing is going to make us weather. Nothing is going to make us miss out what the Lord has in store for us. As a church in Kenya, I pray for the church in Kenya so much. Diligently, I do. Because I desire the church to be blessed where it is supposed to be. So let's be steadfast. Let us be strong in the Lord. May nothing move us. The book of 1 Corinthians 15:58 is also an encouragement to every believer that believes in the Lord Jesus. 15:58 1 Corinthians 15:58 it says therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. If there is anything to encourage you there be encouraged by the last part of that scripture. That your labor is not in vain. That my labor is not in vain. Just be encouraged. Your labor is not in vain. It's like the more you pray, the more trouble comes your way. Don't worry, my dear. That labor is not in vain. He who sees in secret will make you a public sight to many. They will say, where did she come from? Later will they know that you began somewhere where you were struggling. My dear brother, my dear sister, be encouraged tonight to be steadfast. No matter what kind of words people throw you away, tell them you are born again and don't shy away from saying that you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And nothing will move you from that faith. This is how we are going to pray. We are going to pray that we will, be st we will have a steadfast spirit. You know that courageous spirit that the, where the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs that the righteous man is like a lion, is as courageous as a lion, like you know Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. How many of us are able to bear the fire unless the spirit of God has come upon us? The disciples of Jesus after Jesus had ascended, these men were so courageous despite of the persecution. They were beaten in the prison, told, don't speak about that name again. And the following day, they are found in the temple, they are found in the streets, doing the same thing. How I pray, my brother, my sister, you will learn to read the word, proving every word. The book of Proverbs says that only a fool believes everything. You can't just be believing everything. Take time, study the word, prove the word. Prove yourself also to be a servant of God through being studious of the word of God. And I pray that we will all stand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation 3.15 uh, is going to help us to pray that we may be steadfast in our spirit. We will not be wavering. The Bible says, I know your works, you neither cold nor hot. Would that you were cold or hot? So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. This is the Lord speaking to one of the, uh, the churches, the church of Laodicea, and he's telling them they are neither anywhere. You know, they are, they are not hot, they are not cold. But the Lord desires that they be one, that he may know where are you standing. Because he says, if you don't do that, I will spew you. I pray that we will not be a people who follow every teaching. We will not follow every spirit that prophesies. We will be very sensitive. The spirit of discernment will be in us. We will be founded in the word of God. We will be unshakable. 
Even when all other things are shaken away around us, we will be unshakable in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that we will be able to hold on to what is given to us. There is something given to us. Let's read the book of Revelation 2, verse 25 and 26. Only hold fast to what you have until I come. This is the Lord Jesus again speaking to the church of Thyatira and saying, Hold fast to what you have until I come. He who conquers and who keeps my works until the end, I will give him power over all nations. I told you, like the scriptures told us, the labor is not in vain. Hold on, and he will give us the power over all nations. He will distribute us all over the world that we may preach his word. So we are going to pray that we will be able to hold on to what is given unto us. When you read the book of Revelation 3.1, it says that you hold fast what you have, lest another person takes your crown. You risk your crown being taken away when you don't hold fast what is put in you. You can be having a gift. Don't let that gift go. Timothy is strengthened by Paul and told to stir it up. He's also told not to neglect it. He's told to, to, by Paul to train himself in godliness. I also tell you the same word. Do not neglect that gift. Somebody else will seize your crown and you will be there wondering what happened. It's because you neglected what the Lord has given unto you. What, do you, what, what has the Lord endowed you with? Take care of it. You stand at a risk of losing it. If you don't, we are also going to pray that we will be steadfast in all circumstances, even through suffering, through pain, through shame. You know, there are people who have just begun to want to humiliate the church, but they are just fueling us to continue. It's just a fuel they are putting in us. It's not like they are pouring cold water on us. And I pray that it will be the same for you, that these people who, will, who are humiliating you in your office, in your neighborhood because you are believe because you take your time in church because you pray because you confess that prayer uh, brings out results don't worry let that be a fuel for you to keep moving and i believe you are ready to pray above all things guard your heart with all diligence don't let those words enter into your heart if anything when they speak against you when they speak against the faith tell them or tell the Lord Jesus to guard you, to guard you from those painful words, to guard you from words that can, you know, bring out bitterness and pain inside of you. Let's ask the Lord to guard our hearts, to help us to guard our hearts from anything, because out of the heart comes out the issues of life. And when your heart is impure, everything else is affected. Let's enter into prayer as we ask the Lord for a steadfast power in our faith in Jesus mighty name father in the name of Jesus we bless your holy name oh my Lord and my God I have seen your works and they are wonderful I marvel at them I really do love what you do and what you have done my Lord and my God is there anyone to compare to you is there anyone to compete with you oh God is there an authority that can stand to oppose your authority? You are above everything. You are above all kingdoms, above all principalities, and above all spiritual hosts. My Lord and my God, I have come to acknowledge that you are God today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Your kingdom reigns forever. You have a power that is able to hold the world in your hands, O oh God. You are able to know the thoughts of every man, wherever they are. All over billions of people, they are all in your hands. As the famous song goes, in his hands is God the whole world. Yes, Lord, you have us in your hands and we bless your name. This evening, Lord, we have come to pray that we may have a steadfast spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that our perilous times are coming and we must save time because those times are coming. The times when things will be too bad for us. And we pray in advance, O Jehovah God, that we may be immovable in our faith. If 
anything we will say like Paul, that to die is gain and to live is Christ, that nothing is going to shake our hearts, nothing is going to move us from believing in Christ. Oh Lord Jesus, when you hang on that cross, you hang there for every man and every woman in all nations and tribes. And I pray that our hearts will hold diligently to the sight of you on the cross, that we will not abuse the fact that we have received this freely the salvation of the Lord. We will not take it for granted because we have not paid a bit. We know Jesus, that God, you paid everything for our sake. And the blood of Jesus is able to wash us and it cleans us and makes our sins as white as snow. This evening, Father, we pray we will not abuse the fact that we are given the salvation of the Lord freely, but we will be careful to, uh, to, to carry it. We will carry it with a lot of carefulness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will not be careless, oh my Father, my God, because when we lose it, there is no other sacrifice. It's only the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, God of glory, I pray that we are going to have a steadfast spirit, that we are going to be rooted in you, that we are going to be founded in you, that we are going not to fear. My Father, no matter what kind of wind that blows our way, we will still stand in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what Satan sends our way, we are going to stand in the name of Jesus. We have read your word and we have seen men and women who stood despite of all the persecution and all the hard times and all the tough times. Lord Jehovah, we pray that you may make us as mighty as they were, that we will be so strong in the faith that even when evil comes our way, we will be able to subdue that evil and still move on in the name of Jesus. We will not be attracted to all the side shows that are around us in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing is going to take away our eyes from the God. I pray Jehovah, we will not risk our crowns from being stolen or taken away. My Father, we will hold fast what you have given unto us. We are going to be carefully and tenderly taking care of everything that you have given unto us in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of the Father, may you grant our hearts a lot of courage that even when we are called to answer unto the faith. When people have questions about what we have believed, we will not lose our temper, but with a lot of patience, we will explain to many that the faith we carry is a faith that is imperishable. It is a faith that will lead us to heaven through Christ Jesus. Oh, Father God of glory, that we will not be a people who lose our temper easily. We will not be quarrelsome, even when we are defending the gospel. But I pray for a certain confident and a lot of uh, 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 a lot of uh, uh, uh a courage in our, in our hearts that we may continue to spread the word without fear in Jesus mighty name we will not be blown around by every wind of doctrine I pray Jehovah give us a discerning spirit that we may test every spirit we will not despise prophecy but we are going to test every spirit in the name of Jesus we are not going to be moved around by all the men who call upon the name of Jesus we know that Jesus you are spoken in your word and say that there are some whom you will tell though you use my name to cast demons to hear and to prophesy I do not know you I pray Lord give us a bright mind give us a mind that knows what the devil holds we know that he is a schemer sometimes he comes as an angel of light but I pray he will not prevail against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and I pray for people who are going through hard times they are suffering in the faith they could be in this country or in other countries, I pray for them. Let these men not quit the faith. Let these men not stop believing in you. Let these men not feel like they are going through what you have not allowed. Father, we have seen persecution is part of the faith. Oh, Father, help us to understand this, that even when the persecution comes, that is the more we will grow in you. That is how we will grow deeper in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, Spirit of the Father, rest on us. Rest on every believer. Rest Rest on every servant of God. Rest on every minister. And I pray as the Lord Jesus uh, taught the disciples to pray that you may lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Jehovah, even where the Mary clay is, you are going to carry us up unto the rock that we may be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing is going to move us from the Spirit of God. Nothing is going to move us from believing 
the word of God. My Father, no matter what they do to the word of God, may it be embedded in our hearts and in our minds. May we bind them as ornaments around our neck that your word may remain in us, that your word may be strong in us, that we may utter your word all the time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, fight our battles. Fight all the battles that we are facing, especially in the church of Kenya. Every word of mockery. Father, may you reign and prove yourself to be the Lord who called us into this faith. I pray, Jehovah, then that thing that we are fighting the air, that we are boxing, we are shadow boxing, may they know that there is a God who founded this faith that we have in the mighty name of Jesus. As they throw words anyhow, may they meet with you as you met with Saul on his way to Damascus in the mighty name of Jesus. You subdued his intellect and you made him conform to your understanding. And I pray for this man too. The Lord you are going to subdue their intellect, their education, whatever they believe in, the, will, the human wisdom. Subdue it and reduce it to nothing. That they may come to know that the word of God is the light unto our path and the lamp unto our feet. When all wisdom is taken away from them, they will realize that there is so much darkness in them and they need the light. And the only way to the light is through the word. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Father God of glory, strengthen the heart of every believer. Strengthen the heart of every prayer warrior, every intercessor, every minister, every brother, every sister. Strengthen our hearts, oh Jehovah. May we hold on to one another more and more. We will be more unified. May we, my father, speak one language now. May we be of one mind that we may support one another in the name of Jesus. Them that have been wavering, they have never held a, uh, held a stand. People who don't know where they are, they are neither cold nor hot. I pray for them tonight that their hearts now will be conformed to your will. I pray that they will begin to be hot now. I pray that they will begin to be alive in Christ now. I pray that they will die to sin in the name of Jesus. People who have been religious and church goers. Lord, having no impact in their life. Father, I pray now begin to impact them. Every word that you send their way, let it be a word that convicts their heart to turn to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. People who have been hardened by the enemy, their hearts are so hardened, it's like there is an impedious layer inside of their heart. The word cannot penetrate. May you melt it down, Lord, that these people may begin to receive the word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the wind blows Lost too mightly. Father, I pray we will stand because we are built on the rock. When the evil comes, oh my Jehovah, it comes as a mighty wind and a mighty rushing way. We are going to stand because we are founded in you, Lord. You are our firm foundation. You are our shelter. You are our righteousness. You are where the righteous run and they are safe. As we run to you, may we be safe. May you keep our children and our families safe. May you keep the church safe. May you be, be May you keep the believers safe in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Because Jehovah, you surround us with your hedge of protection. And the blood of the Lamb is the victory to which we have against the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. May we rise up and shine for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon, the, upon us, O oh God. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that even the captives of this mighty will be loosed in Jesus mighty name. Give us the power to stand. Give us the sound mind and a sober spirit. The Bible tells us that Lord you have not given us the spirit of fear neither timidity but the spirit of sound mind and of power. May it rest on us. Breathe on us again. Breathe on us again that we may receive that mighty spirit that we may have the spirit of might in us in the mighty name of Jesus. The fearless spirit the unshakable spirit. The spirit that does not see danger but sees the, the reward for our labor. Our iron eye that does not see the wavering wings but sees the, the power behind him who sent us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Father, whatever we will have to endure, give us power to stand. Temptations will come but give us power to stand. Suffering will come our way but give us power to stand. Pain 
umekala wewe kwa kila sawa tu star oh my god abosia persecution may come our way but call hold our hands that we may cross over safely the same way you held the children of Israel until they crossed over safely my father hold us until we go to the other side safely in the name of Jesus may you bless the church of Kenya may you bless the body of Christ in Kenya may you elevate us to our position may you help us to hold on to what you have given unto us i pray we will not trade it for anything i pray we will not exchange it for anything we are going to stand firm we are not going to be like Esau and the bible tells us out of it you hated Esau father god i pray we will not be that careless we will not at all trade what you have given unto us you have told us occupy till i come i pray that none of us is going to lose their position none of us is going to lose their mark none of us is going to lose their area of jurisdiction in the name of jesus we are going to dominate as you told us we exercise our dominion and our authority demons will not prevail around our families because we are there put in us the spirit of courage put in us the spirit of power that lord we may continue to stand and all the glory and honor will go back to you father we worship you this evening we adore you and we honor you and i pray lord minister to every person that is viewing minister to every believer minister to every person that is saying i'm about to give up let lord come in for them come in for them my lord even at this hour that they are saying i don't know where to go my father may you raise them that they may stand up again and may they may glorify your name I thank you so much Lord. I worship your name and I adore you. And it is in Jesus name that we pray and believe. Amen. And amen and amen. Thank you so much. It's always a blessing to know that you are viewed to the end and continue to share these prayers. I told you somebody needs it somewhere and it's a way of evangelizing. Reach out to somebody who needs this prayer. Forward it to them. Forward it to groups and let people be blessed. In Jesus name. Shalom.